good morning children in the first video i have explained you what is percentage student All, already the explanation part of percentage chapter is gone in the last video now i am going to explain you an example of the sum uh, in this video okay based on this sums we are going to solve practice set 30 sums okay students so there are examples now see Last year, Gri Premi group planted 75 trees of this 48 trees flourished. That means, flourished means fall. Okay. The Karamvir group planted 50 trees of which 35 flourished. Which group was more successful in conserving the trees that had planted? Now, there are two groups. One is of Gri Premi and one is of Karamvir okay in different uh, group they have planted the tree karamvir had karamvir uh, gri premi has planted 75 and karamvir has planted 50 now to find out which group was more successful in saving the trees we need to first find out the percentage now here the number of trees each group started with is different okay each group has started with different number of uh, trees they have planted so hence we have to compare the surviving trees in each group to the number of trees planted by them for this comparison it would be useful to find out for each group the percentage of their trees that survive to do that let us find the ratio of the number of surviving trees to the total trees planted now first thing we need to make a ratio of both the group so suppose the surviving trees of the gri premi group are a okay because we don't know how much group how much plant, uh, trees are survived so we are taking as a for gri premi and b for karamvi now first thing we will make the ratio and then we will find out the percentage the gri premi's ratio of the surviving tree to plant trees to planted tree is a upon 100 and also 48 upon 75 okay therefore a upon 100 is equal to 48 upon 75 this becomes the first ratio in the same way we can also find the ratio of the surviving trees to planted trees for the karamvir group okay karamvir is b okay so now let us write the same ratio in two forms obtain equation and solve them now a upon 100 okay because we don't know this is the surviving tree so we don't know surviving so we write surviving as a and this is the flourished and this is the planted so we made the ratio for giri premi and this is the ratio for karamvi now we write a upon 100 into 100 to find out the percentage we have to multiply 100 on both the sides okay so multiplying 100 on both the sides so a upon 100 into 100 is equal to 48 upon 75 into 100 so here 100 100 goes so here 0 uh, so here you multiply 75 divide 75 with 100 you get the answer 64 and here you divide 50 with 100 you get the answer 70 so therefore karamvi's group was more successful in conserving the trees they had planted because Karamvir is uh, survived tree was 70 and Gri Premi is 64. So whose is more, more? It is Karamvir. So that is why Karamvir group has uh, successfully conserved so many, so much percentage of trees. Okay. So this group is more. Understood students? Same way here one more example on page number 63 it is given this examples are basically uh, examples of the sum that are there in practice set 30 so now i will uh, explain pra practice set 30 for sum to you students okay like this only you have to solve practice set 30 for sum also now i'll solve the first sum for you students the first sum is c solve the following shabana scored 736 marks out of 100 in her exam what was the percentage she sh scored? Now, first sum. See, solution we will write. Let Shabana 
कोड एक्स परसेंट ऑफ द मार्क्स एज वी डोंट नो हाउ मच परसेंटेज सो वी गिव परसेंटेज एज एक्स ओके देन वी मेक अ रेशियो देन एक्स अपॉन हंड्रेड इज इक्वल टू सेवन थर्टी सिक्स अपॉन एट हंड्रेड ओके दिस इज द रेशियो दैट वी मेड नाउ देर फॉर एक्स अपॉन हंड्रेड इंटू हंड्रेड इज इक्वल टू सेवन थर्टी सिक्स अपॉन एट हंड्रेड इंटू हंड्रेड कैटिंग मी स्टूडेंट्स देर फॉर मल्टीप्लाइंग हंड्रेड on both the sides as I told you in the explanation part now this zero gets zero cancel zero cancel zero cancel now eight ones are eight eight nines are seventy two carry over one this becomes sixteen eight twos are sixteen so therefore ninety two percent answer Shabana scored ninety-two percent. Got it, students? Now, same way we are going to solve the second sum. Second sum is there are five hundred students in the school in the Hihanda village. If three fifty of them can swim, what percent of them can swim and what percent cannot? Now. Let us find out, students. Now, so we we'll write let x percent of students swim. Okay, so we we'll write then the ratio. Then x over hundred is equal to three fifty over. Five hundred. Okay. Now, therefore, x over hundred in two hundred is equal to three fifty two hundred in two hundred. Multiplying hundred on both the sides. So we can see, we can see, we can see. Five one zero five, five seven zero, thirty five and the zero. So seventy percent. Therefore, seventy percent of student can swim. Got it, students? Seventy percent of the student can swim. Now we need to find out what percent cannot. So, therefore, the remaining that is hundred percent. Minus seventy percent, you get hundred minus seventy, you get thirty. So thirty percent. So answer seventy percent student can swim and thirty percent. Students cannot swim. Got it, students? This is the way we will solve the sum. Okay, third and fourth sum. I will solve it for you in the next video. Please solve the sum in your rough book, students, so that you know how to do the sums. If there is any uh, query, you can ask me in the 
online session students please go through the sums thoroughly understand and still if you have problem you ask me okay students thank you